Hi, everybody. Want to join me on a mixed up adventure? Who's going to help me mix it up? Mix it up! Mix it up! I can't hear you! Mix it up! Mix it up! Let's go mix it up! I want a new adventure. I want to go out and play. Well, I'm hanging out with Nikki. I'm such a hot dog day. We never know just where we'll go. But before the day is through, we'll be dancing down. It's a birdie call I made all by myself. A birdie call? How does it work? Well, you blow in this end, and it makes a pretty sound that attracts birds. When they hear it, they come a-running. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? I... I'm not sure what happened, but I heard a funny honk, and I couldn't help myself from coming here. It works! Even better than I expected! <laughs> what, what? My birdie call! I don't see any birds around here. Actually, Donald... Let me see that thing. <laughs> see? Don't that's ridiculous! Huh? <laughs> Oh, my! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I can't score a goal with all these geese in the way! Check it out, buddy! This is gonna be my fastest time across the bars! Huh? Goose! <laughs> Scram! Get away from my picnic! Hey, you, Goose! Move! You do, Gander! And you, and you, and you! Gorge! I made the best birdie call ever! Oh, ain't this the life? So glad I put this grass here. See, now we've got the perfect place to chill out and relax. <laughs> ain't that right, Butchie Boy? Geese weasels! Hey, get off of my... Hey, what do you... <laughs> seem to have a goosey problem. Lots of goosey problems. <laughs> as fond as I am of all creatures, we cannot run a town with all these geese getting into everything. Give me back my baguette. Case in point. I'm sure we can find a way to encourage the geese to move on. I hope so. These geese are running afoul. All right, everybody. Time to put on our thinking caps. Okie dokie. <laughs> Operation Goodbye Geese is a go. Well, I'm thinking up stuff already. I think I need a new thinking cap. Oh, little Goosey, wouldn't you like to fly to this wonderful place? It's really warm and sunny, and there's plenty of room to play. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, Scaredy Crow, oh, I bet you can scare off them birdies. <laughs> hmm, 
Maybe you need a spookier wig. Scarecrow! Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> This should shoo those geese and send them running on their way. They'll never get to my lord now. Geese and weasels. bad for the geese. It's not their fault. It was Goofy's birdie call that attracted them. Yeah, and now they just want to enjoy outdoor deals like everyone else. You're right. We have to help our birdie buddies out. You know what they say. Birds of a feather stick together like us. Friends forever. <whistles> Attention, everybody. Attention, please. <laughs> Now, I know things have been difficult since... That goose ate my grub. <clears throat> As I was saying, it's not the geese's fault. I mean, look, all around you, what do you see? I see friends, family, a real community. Yeah, yeah you see. Right. This is a great yeah. community. These geese didn't expect to come here but they heard Goofy's bird call and felt a calling to visit Hot Dog Hills, this place that we call home. Daisy's right. We've been going about this all wrong. We shouldn't be chasing them off. Let's make the geese feel welcome and show them what the folks of Hot Dog Hills are really like. Let's do it! <laughs> I ain't making no friends with no grass-eating geese. Come on, Butchie. Let's <laughs> Have fun, birdie buddy! <laughs> Yay! Bon appetit! Poor little Lon. It's getting all chewed up, I tell you. If those three lone birds take it over, we won't have a place left to relax in the sun. <laughs> I wish them geese would fly south for the winter. That's what birds do when the weather turns cold, you know. <gasps> That's it. If we trick them into thinking it's winter, they'll fly off my lawn and quit bothering us. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, look, Donald. Everybody's getting along so nicely. That's because birds of a feather stick together. Move it, Goosey. <laughs> Please. I've had enough of these geese weasels eating my grass, locking my rays, and getting in the way, see? So it's time to chill out with some fake snow. <laughs> to get the geese to think it was winter by blowing fake snow at them and it didn't go so well. And I'm sorry. 
I should have listened to Daisy and Donald and made feather friends with all of you. Oh, look at that. I'll tell you what. You can eat my lawn anytime you want. In fact, I'll grow another patch. As many as we need. Bring the whole family. <laughs> Buttons and fur. It got cold all of a sudden. Drafty doodles. It's snowing snow. Winter is really here. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, how kind of you. I'm gonna miss you guys. Ho, ho, ho! Oh. <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye, friends! I miss them already. Oh, I bet we'll see them again. Ah. Oh. It sure was nice of our new friends to invite us to visit them in their new winter home. That's because we're together. Stick together. together. Same goes for me and Butchie, too. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go! Let's go! Trophies, Terry! Got lots of races coming up, and every winner gets a prize. Am I right? Or am I right? You're always right, Billy. And loud, too. Oh, stop in the morning, Mr. McSnorter! Yeah, same to you. Hiya, Billy. Uh, say, Mr. McSnorter, your tie's a little crooked. Here, let me help you with that. Aw, oh, thanks, Mick. You're the best. Thank you, Mr. McSnorter. Have a good day. Hmm. <laughs> Say, Clara, let me help you with that. <laughs> well, well. Hmm. Have a nice day, Billy. Yes, thanks! Golly, <laughs> see ya. Look at that Mickey Mouse, huh? Always helping and putting a smile on everybody's face. Oh, I wish I could make folks happy by helping them. Hi, Billy! Happy helpers? Of course! If anybody can hook me up with some helping, it's gotta be them! Okay, ladies. We got helping to do at the yoga studio and the golf course. Let's check the list. Yoga mat. Got it. Golf club. Stay right here. Happy helpers, I'm here to help. <laughs> so I was just saying to myself, self, you really ought to help folks so you can make them smile like Mickey does or the happy helpers. Nice, Billy. It always feels good to help. That's why I'm here. I want to help. So what do you got for me, huh? Uh, do I take a number? Well, Billy, as much as we appreciate your offer, the jobs we have today require a certain... A softer voice. You see, we're helping out in quiet places. You know, like a yoga studio. Yeah, you'd have to turn the volume down a notch or two. Or seven. Right by using your small inside voice instead of your big outside voice. Inside, outside, yeah, yeah, uh, I got this. Happy helpers, here to happily help. Minnie speaking. Oh, hello, Mrs. Palmer. How are things down at the library? Quiet? <laughs> oh, not really, Minnie. I took a spill the other day. I'm getting better. But it is a struggle putting books back on the shelf. They're piling up, and I could use some help putting them away. Library? Perfect! I can start by helping there. I'm on my way! Billy, hold on! Off to the library! He's gone. 
Is everything okay, Minnie? Uh, yes, Mrs. Palmer. <laughs> Someone should be right over. <laughs> Bye! Deafening doodles. We need to keep a check on Billy's big, booming voice before he starts something like an avalanche of bookmarks and library cards. Well, what about our other jobs today? We'll handle them after the library. If Billy wants to help, we need to help him do that. Let's go, girls! Ta-da! I'm here! <laughs> I gotcha! <laughs> C can I help you, Billy? Nope! I'm here to help you! Happy helpers sent me only the best, you know! Books! You need help putting them away? That's what I'm here for! Ellie the Scratches talk. I love this book. Three little platypuses, a classic. Peter Pan's gotta be top ten. Twelve for sure. Oh. Monty the Mongoose, I still read that book. Never get tired of it. Oh, I love my. this book. I can hardly hear myself think with all that noise. Oh, buttons and bows and Billy. I gotta tell you, Mrs. P, these books bring back great memories. Hey, hey, happy helping, gals. Nice of you all to stop by. As you can see, I got this helping stuff way under control. Uh, Billy, may I have a word with you? Well, you can have more than one! You can have two! Oh, my! I know you want to help, but like I said earlier, there are certain places where one should really use their inside voice instead of their outside voice. Like in a library? Right! <laughs> I mean, right. In places like a library, I should use my inside voice. Happy helpers, here to happily help. Minnie speaking. Oh, hello, Dr. Martin. You need a helping hand at the hospital. Don't you worry, Minnie. Tell Doc I'm on my way. Uh, we better keep an eye on him. Make that six eyes. As soon as we're done shelving these books, Thanks for wheeling me around, Billy bro. Glad to help, Garth. <laughs> hey, Billy. I'll take over from here. <laughs> Mind those thumbs, Garth. Go a little easy on the gaming, will you? You got it, dude. Wow, it sure feels good to help. You know, I could do this helpy stuff all day. Excuse me, Billy. Could you take these bottles to the nursery? You got it, Nurse Beckett. It's what I'm here for. So far, so good. Looks like Billy's finally got a handle on his booming baritone voice box. Oh, babies! They're so cute! <laughs> Oops, spoke too soon. <laughs> Again, what a helper you are. <sighs> Sorry, you know, just when I was getting the hang of helping, me and my outside voice messed things up again. There's no use! My outside voice is no help at all! Oh, Billy, don't be so hard on yourself. It's okay to use your outside voice. When an outside voice is okay to use, like at a concert. Or when you're announcing, go racers! Look, I'm sorry, gals, but this isn't working. I'm not making anyone happy. Oh, don't give up, Billy. It's not the voice, it's the choice between inside and outside. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to win the giant food contest, but I am sure this will be the biggest donut any of them have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> So, let me get this straight. If I'm in a library, I use my inside voice, right? Right! But if a giant donut was rolling wild towards us, it would be okay to use my outside voice? Yeah. A super-sized sweet roll? <laughs> Why not? Cause here comes one now!
Which way did it go? Oh, ducky Doodles! We've got to help them, but we're too far away! Let me handle this! Run, little ducky! We gotta catch this donut, but I gotta do something to help these ducks! What can I do? That's it. Sleepy, sleepy little ducky. No more donut. You got lucky. Soft and gentle on the lawn. Rest your beaks. The trouble's gone. Oh, the little darlings. Oh, I am so sorry. I didn't know donuts could be so dangerous. Is everyone okay? We sure are. Here you go, Mama. His outside voice helped to warn the people, and his inside voice helped to calm the duckies. Wow, I did good, didn't I? You bet. Oh dear, oh dear. Now I wonder where my giant donut went. Welcome, 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 everyone, to the giant food contest. That, sir, is one big muffin. Could this be the winner? Look out, everybody! Giant donut! <laughs> we have a winner! Look! My donut landed there! <laughs> First prize goes to Clarabelle! Moo Harbors! Donut! Get your donut here! Fresh from Clarabelle's kitchen! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Daisy? Mm -hmm. There's plenty for everyone! Yes, I, <laughs> I want some! <laughs> Looks like we finally got this inside outside voice thing figured out! Yeah! Mm. Uh, I mean, thanks to the happy helpers. <laughs> <laughs> Stop on 